guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nathan East. for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and i am the founder and ceo of daughter of increase ministries that is doi ministries and here on this channel i help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with god in christ through bible studies book reviews discussions and more and i do that by posting twice a week every wednesday and saturday and occasionally on a tuesday and um today's video the title says above is going to be another book tag so i was actually initially supposed to get this video up done for wednesday but i'm recording it on thursday and you guys, you guys will see this on saturday and the reason is because one my sister from church her wedding is this saturday and um i've been pretty much busy getting myself ready for that and um yeah so the day that you're seeing it is her wedding day and i am a bridesmaid in her wedding and so yes i'm super super excited for that so i had a lot of stuff to get done two um issues with my back <laughs> yeah saturday my back started hurting again and so i've been dealing with that it has gotten a little bit better um as of today today would technically be day five yeah today will be day five but it's not as bad um i did go and get my nails done and my, my pedicure as well for um the wedding and so yeah and what was the third thing oh the third thing sorry is that i'll actually be leaving on sunday <laughs> so the day after the wedding i'll be leaving to go down south for an entire week um and so yeah I've, it, it's it's been laundry it's been cleaning my room it's been packing it's been everything and so doing all that plus the pain in the back trying to record it was like it was on my mind but it wasn't like the first thing on my mind and so i'm making the video today on thursday but you'll see this video on um saturday and after i actually record this i'm gonna record an annotate with me video so that video will be posted up for next wednesday and um yeah so book tag i enjoy making these i hope you guys enjoy watching them and get new books and so i saw this from Lindsay from the bfcg books for christian girls yes okay so i watch her channel she is such a sweet young lady she reads a lot of clean romances and she tries to find books that's going to be suitable in the christian genre for younger girls as well as adults because she is an adult now and so i saw her do this tag and i said "Ooh, let me try it let me try it and so here we are um it's basically five questions five four three two one clearly um and so the first one is five latest five star reads or five books that you love and i mean i could talk about five books that i love <laughs> but we're not gonna do that because if you've been following me for a minute then you know what my like top ones are i will do an updated favorites because i think a few books have been changed but i'm gonna do my five latest five stars now i honestly don't have that many um i have three from this year and two from last year um but i also have another book because one of them is a non-fiction and so I'm not going to really include that. I guess I'll show the nonfiction. So the nonfiction that I gave a five star rating to was The Emotionally Healthy Woman by Jerry Scazzaro. Um, this book, you guys, was stunning from beginning to the end. I have the study guide, which the study guide isn't honestly as useful. I think if you have the DVD videos, then it would be great. But I'm not finding too much use of the study guide. But this here, it was awe inspiring. It was eye opening. It was biblically sound. It was amazing honestly and i could relate to everything um i did get a chance to watch the first video because they do have it for free um if i can find it i'll link it down below um and it made me cry just listening to jerry's story and i do know her husband peter scazzaro because he wrote the emotionally healthy leader and the emotionally healthy church and so i was excited to see that they had this book and this book goes through different things that women need to quit saying right and so there are chapters such as hold on Quit being afraid of what others think, quit lying, quit dying to the wrong things, quit denying anger, sadness, and fear, quit blaming, quit over-functioning, quit faulty thinking, and quit living someone else's life. The one that really triggered me the most was the quit lying because within that chapter she talked about silence and I definitely am the type to remain silent um, if I feel like I am being attacked silence if i feel like someone hurt my feelings silence i i just go silent and it's a habit that i pretty much kind of trained myself to have from what happened in the past and um she talked about how silence is a form of lying because if you're not speaking up then you're letting that truth of whatever is being said be the truth when it's really not the truth and you're lying to yourself and you're lying to other people that triggered me you guys it triggered me all the way <laughs> um and yeah i really just enjoyed this as well as a quick denying anger sadness and fear one thing i tell people when they ask me um you know how i 
got to the place that I am is that I didn't deny my feelings, especially with the breakup, because a lot of people are like awestruck that I'm like over it. Um, I didn't deny what I felt. If I was angry, I was angry. I let God know. If I was sad, I let God know. I still have those moments where I get angry and I get sad, and I let God know. I deal with those. I don't hide from them. I don't run from them. I don't deny them. And so that chapter was great. But um, yeah, this was probably my one five star uh nonfiction so far that I've read this year. And I've read quite a few nonfictions, but this one it, it slaps. It, it hits. It slaps is bomb.com definitely if you can i highly suggest you check this out because this is so good i might honestly do a book club on this if you guys are interested in that let me know in the comments um about a book club because this book right here i, I feel like it needs to be read and discussed um with many women so this one was a go okay but moving on to the fiction books because you know we got to do fiction right so the first one top hands top hands down the first one hands down it's such a reference by miss tony shiloh um um can we just this got a five star so i read this february 2022 this was the first five star i gave and this book was it 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 was glorious now i do have an arc of the sequel which is to win a friend and i have two copies of that coming <laughs> possibly three actually um and so yeah i am i'm stoked I am stoked. Expect a reading blog for this, or well, a reread reading blog for this and for the sequel because we gotta talk about it. I don't know what just happened with the sun. The sun just went away. I apologize. But, but yeah, In Search of a Prince is absolutely amazing. It is a contemporary romance about Brielle who finds out that she is actually the heir to an island on the coast of Africa. And it's a family, it's family drama. There's romance, of course, and I swooned for the romance. Um, the friendships. Let me just say the faith aspects in this book. Tony did such a phenomenal job, you guys. Like, I admired Brielle and her prayer life. Like, even her friend. Like, we love to see it. And so you got to see a little bit of mommy daughter drama. Was enjoying that too. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, this definitely hands down was the first five star I gave for the year. And then following that, I gave Jerusalem's Queen by Miss Angela Hunt, which is the third uh, third book in the Silent Year series. And I had already loved this book from the cover. And so I was hyped when it was a five star read. We loved it. Um, this one follows Salome and, uh, ooh, what is her name? Is it Kissy? I gotta find out the girl's name. Yes, Kisa, sorry, Kisa. Kissa. So it follows Salome and Kissa. And um, this Salome was such a just mindful person. Is that even the word to say? The way that she thought, the way that her mind worked, the way that she loved scripture was amazing. Um, especially her being a female. Didn't really care for her family. Not gonna lie, her family kind of like <laughs> pissed me off. But um, yeah, just watching her go through life and. Um, really try to stick to the word but also then see her turn the word into something completely twisted it it's hard to explain you have to watch my uh series wipeout to fully understand so watch the series wipeout where i talk about this book and you'll get my points because i don't want this video to be too long but this definitely was the second five star read that i gave for the year okay following that um i gave death Hall. death Hall. so this was back actually in to 2021 so i only had two five star reads for 2022 but yeah going into 2021 because it says the five latest five stars right so we got to go to 2021 um death all by Miss nancy mail which was the second book in the chronicle files trilogy y'all i love this only because kaylee quinn was in it only because kaylee quinn was in it okay this basically picks up after the events of the first book which is Nightfall and I'm not going to really talk too much about it but Nightfall follows um the protagonist Alex Donovan and Alex was a very just meh character for me didn't really care for her I even said that in the reading vlog I posted for the final book um if you want to see that click the I I didn't really care for Alex I'm not gonna lie however Kaylee we love her okay Kaylee was my favorite character from her actual series, the Kaylee Quinn Profiler tr Trilogy. And um, if you guys are into like Criminal Minds type of shows, 
definitely check out Nancy's writing because she writes about BAU members and so Kaylee was a member of the BAU and so was Alex and in this book there is kidnapping there is serial killers there is life or death situations there's a lot of romance we love it and um well not a lot of romance but a little bit of romance that I do love and um yeah I honestly Kaylee Quinn for the win that's why I, I gave it five stars I'm not gonna lie and I actually did like the improvements of Alex as a character with Kaylee okay so yeah, we have that, okay? Then I also gave Between the Wild Branches by Miss Connie and Cassette a five-star rating. This is the final book in the Covenant House duology. Um, this one follows, oh my God, Lucio. <laughs> Almost forgot his name for a minute. Lucio and Shoshana, and I can't really talk too much about them because Connie Lynn has a way of connecting all of her series. And so if you read the Out From Egypt series, her trilogy, it connects to her other series, which, oh my God, why can't I remember? And that's my favorite series right now. So let me see if she has them in the book. She should have them titled. Yes. So her Out From Egypt trilogy is connected to her Cities of Refuge series. And then the Cities of Refuge series is connected to the Covenant House duology. And so... I don't want to spoil too much, but it does give the perspective of Lucio, which Lucio is a character we do end up meeting in the Cities of Refuge series. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. And Lucio and his sister grew up as Philistines. Um, at the end of book two, Lucio made a decision. And so we get to see him years later after he made that decision. And he's back with his people and with the Philistines. He's a fighter. Um, and he's learning the truth about certain things um and he's also beginning to understand god in this book and i enjoyed it i enjoyed him and shoshana because we love miss shosho shosho is amazing okay that's all i'm gonna say i can't give too much because again it would be spoiling other books and i feel like with connie's books you you should read them in order okay from the first book she published to the last book because there is a connection and i think that's what i like about connie's writing is that all of her books are connected in some form or fashion um, and it makes for a seamless flow, a seamless view of character growth. Like, we love to see it, okay? We just love to see it. And so, yeah, we have that. And then the fifth one I have is going to be three by Ted Decker. Um, I'm not gonna, I didn't, <laughs> we love this book. I think I talked about this book in the last book tag I did, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Um, I, I swoon for this book. I do. This is a Christian suspense thriller semi-horror um written by Ted Decker about this guy okay so his name is Kevin Parsons and he basically gets a phone call from this dude named Slater who basically threatens him to confess his sins or he's gonna die and it's pretty much riddles forcing him to confess sins but Kevin doesn't really know what's going on and outside of Slater there's a romance happening with a young woman named Samantha but it's all twisty topsy-turvy and um the ending we just we just not gonna talk about it this book has been well loved this book has been thrown this book has been slammed this book has just it it has yeah so i am definitely going to reread this i probably will read this on my trip i probably will oh a reading blog will be coming on this soon soon i'm taking this down south with me so we have that um and so these are like the five latest fictional novels i gave five stars to all right so i'm sorry i took that long on that one question that was five right so now on to the next question which is for auto by authors and if you know me you should know already three of my auto by authors so the first one is of course miss tessa afshar anything she writes i'm buying book audiobook nonfiction book a bible study i'm buying it we just we love Tessa's writing like five stars all the way okay next of course would be Miss Connie Lincasette again I love her writing anytime she writes a book I'm buying it I think all of her books got a five star maybe except one book one book got like a four stars but um I she's phenomenal with her writing and I love like I mentioned how her books are all connected to each other all her series and trilogies are connected to the next generation of books that she's writing so Connie like I said hands down all right then we're gonna go on to fantasy right <laughs> christian fantasy miss morgan l Bussey. yes i own um i own her ravenwood saga trilogy i have her secrets in the mist duology 
I can't remember the name of that that duology right now, but I have the second book. I have Blood Secrets. Um, and then I am looking into reading her other fantasy novels as well. But yeah, she's amazing fantasy wise, hands down. All right. And then this last one was honestly, it was hard to pick because I'm, I was stuck between two authors. And honestly, I will put them at the same. I'm, I'm just going to say both. So both is going to be Mr. Ted Decker up here and Miss Nancy Mail. And so Nancy writes amazing, amazing, like romantic suspense novels, which I love, especially if they have that criminal minds feel, that BAU vibe. I'm here for it, okay? I love it. I have one other book from her that she co-wrote, and then I also want to check out more of her other books that she previously wrote. So I'm definitely going to do that. But Mr. Ted Decker up here. He, he, frustr he frustrates me in such an interesting way. <laughs> like, I am gripped by his writing. I'm gripped by his characters and the world and the way he weaves faith aspects into his stories. But some of his stories are, like, out of this world. They're, like, they're out of, out, they're out of this world. Like, they make me second-guess life, okay? And I like that. I like it a lot. <laughs> I really do. Some people are not too fond of Ted Decker. I have been enjoying his writing, honestly. I really have. And so, yeah, these two are tied. They're tied. That's what I'm going to say. Tied for number four. Okay. So, moving on. Question number three is three genres that I'm loving. So, I'm going to talk about the Christian fiction genre, correct? Um, and so, biblical fiction, hands down. I mean, if you got anything about the Bible... In a fictional story give it to me i'll i'll read it, it, it j just put it on a platter and i'm good okay i'm good next christian fantasy i'm a fantasy lover like if i had to pick a genre of all the books that i like fantasy i i am a fantasy lover through and through um that's just me you guys have seen all my other like books behind me on that those shelves fantasy books most of them about 90 percent of my collection is fantasy just saying and so yeah christian fantasy for sure but i haven't honestly read that many christian fantasy novels and so i do want to read more christian fantasy um i definitely want to dive more into that realm and finding new authors and new books but um the ones i've read so far the ones that i've gotten so far been loving so christian fantasy um a third genre i would have to say uh mm, i don't know it's between romantic suspense and contemporary but i'm gonna have to say romantic suspense is because i like those action scenes the drama scenes and i also love the mix of the romance and i don't mean the romantic suspenses with mainly suspense and a little bit of romance like you gotta have a good balance okay a good balance of drama suspense thrills and romance okay though i do love contemporary romances um i'm not gonna lie in the christian fiction genre i don't care too much for it um i do prefer to read contemporary romances that are like secular books that's just because that's what i like but the ones i have found and the ones i've had read like from tony shiloh and from terry ferris those are literally five star reads for me like to in search of a prince by tony shallow five star read and the restoring heritage trilogy from terry ferris five star read both books or series are um contemporary romances but i haven't read that many contemporary romances that i've enjoyed whereas i've read quite a few romantic suspenses so definitely biblical fiction fantasy and romantic suspenses favorite genres um that i'm loving so the next question is two places that i love to read right here in this chair in my bed um those are only places that i can read right now in the house <laughs> so i would say my porch but you know with lantern flies being out there yeah it's not a thing for me no mm -mm. no I, I don't like lantern flies um not at all so yep this chair that i'm sitting in right now and also my bed but yeah those are the two places and then the final one is one book i promise to read soon that is definitely to win a prince by miss tony shallow i'm gonna read this book y'all I need to know what happens next for Brielle's uh, friend. I need to know how Brielle is living. I need more. Right here. This one right here. Definitely hands down the next one I'm reading. Hands down. Don't care. Next one I'm reading. Um, Well, not the next one I'm reading because I have to record it for a reading blog. And I don't want to read it too early because it comes out in some. Oh, I don't know. It's coming out next month. Oh, maybe I can read that. Hmm. I think I have the books that I'm taking with me down south it just might happen 
but yeah definitely hands down next um for sure for sure but um yeah that is it for this tag i tag anybody watching this video who wants to do this tag i ain't gonna shout you out anybody that watches this video want to do this tag please do it please do it okay i don't care if you're a christian booktuber if you're a regular booktuber do the tag if you have books if you want to kind of do it on like instagram and tag me put it on facebook and tag me do it i want to see more people doing this tag and i thank Lindsay for doing the tag um again she did not tag me i just watched her video and was intrigued by the questions and decided to do it and i thought it was a quick video that i can make for you guys and so yeah that is it i hope you guys found some new authors i hope you guys found some new books to read possibly don't kill me um and i think that's it for now so i'm gonna go um if you got to the end of this video put up this emoji i'm not sure what emoji it is right now i never do until i go to edit so whatever emoji is right here put that emoji so that i know that you got to the end of this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye